Hi, this is Zach Ledford from HR Technology and Consulting Company, Elgin LLC, and I am joined by professional services architect, Ali from SnapLogic. Hi, everyone. So in this short demo, we're going to talk about automating your onboarding processes. So we're going to start with a hire inside of a human resources information system of record, in this case, Workday. And then we're going to use SnapLogic to, build, to fire off a series of integrations and pushes and automations to a bunch of ancillary systems inside of the ecosystem. So we'll be looking at a digital file repository, in this case, Box, a learning management system, Skilljar, uh, Salesforce, ServiceNow, and then a digital database, in this case, Snowflake. Uh, that could just as easily be any other collection of systems. So for instance, in the case of Snowflake, we could be pushing to something like Google uh, BigQuery, we could be pushing to AWS, Redshift, doing something in Azure. It really just depends on, on your solution of choice. But using SnapLogic, we'll see how quick and easy it is to put something like this into place. Ultimately, this is going to save you a ton of time, a ton of money, and free up your resources to focus on those other business activities that really drive some of your bottom line ROI. So Ali, I'm going to kick it to you to walk through what's going on here with some of the technology pieces. Sure. So I'm going to go into the system of record for employee information, Workday. This employee was recently hired within Workday. His name is Roberto Smith. And what happened was the moment this employee was hired, a SnapLogic pipeline was triggered from within Workday. Uh, so this is the pipeline that was triggered. So this is an onboarding and offboarding pipeline. So um, when an employee is hired, um, the pipeline will go proceed with this route. Um, if the employee was terminated, the pipeline would proceed with this route here, the termination route. In this use case, uh, because it's an onboarding uh, use case, um, this route uh, was executed. Uh, and what happened was uh, Roberto Smith, this new hire, uh, had a folder information within Box created. Um, and this folder information would contain uh, employee attachments associated to um, this new hire. So here we are, Robert, Roberto Smith. And here are the corresponding folders that were created for him. For example, training would contain LMS, uh, learning management transcript information, expenses would contain Expensify information or any other expense reporting system uh, attachments and, and data, performance for performance management, uh, et cetera. Um, in addition, an account was created for him within Skilljar, uh, within, sorry, within ServiceNow. Um, as we can see here. And then Skilljar uh, is the learning management system of record. Uh, so an account was created for Roberto Smith within Skilljar uh, to take training courses um, and certifications. In addition, an account was created for, for Roberto Smith within, uh, within Salesforce. So here, this check mark indicates this user account is active. Uh, for Roberto Smith. And then lastly, uh, we have people analytics. Um, and for people analytics, we, we are utilizing Snowflake. Um, and a, a people analytics record was created for Roberto Smith in this case here, as we can see. So all of, the, all of these systems uh, created this new hire automatically based on this pipeline, which called this child pipeline for employee onboarding. ServiceNow, Salesforce, People Analytics uh, with Snowflake, LMS with Skilljar, and uh, for folder management, Box. Awesome. Really, really powerful capability. One that I'll call out, you know, we have six or seven systems, you know, in, in this particular demonstration. No reason we couldn't add on to that with anything else inside of your ecosystem, uh, including any other data depositories. Um, or additional additional software applications like Qualtrics for Survey or SurveyMonkey, something like that. Uh, you can also do secondary and tertiary business logics. So you can think about an LMS auto course enrollment using metadata from Workday as part of that higher event. So a really powerful capability, tip of the iceberg. But that's going to be it for this short demo. So we'll go ahead and call it there. If you're ready to learn how to automate, streamline, and save for your business, 
reach out to SnapLogic and Elgin LLC today. We're looking forward to talking with you. Thanks for watching.